show you. There's actually some older books here mm. that look pretty interesting, especially in the case back there. Mm. I ain't got over there yet. Or even like right here. See, original Punisher miniseries, the whole set. You know, the Aliens vs. Predator and Batman vs. Predator stuff. They got um, Masters of the Universe classics. Yeah. Got two of them. Some uh, uh, Legends figures. But I was particularly uh, surprised by the case back there. They get a lot of uh, back issues too mixed here and there. The boys. in there. Mm, turtles. That's a very hard one right now. Giant size X-Men number one. It's an original Batman 3500. See? Mm -hmm. This is stuff you don't normally see in the comic shops anymore. Yeah. And we're at the Cobb Antique Mall. We're still in uh, Canton, Georgia, right in Canton, Marietta, Georgia. Uh, and we stopped at this antique mall because we were around. And we saw this inside the antique mall. Yeah. They got this whole section back here. So, of course, we got a film. Sure. Look at this. First appearance of Wendigo. First uh, Adam Warlock. There's some, uh, some decent books in here, actually. And a lot of back, back issues as well. Yeah, a bunch of books. Me. Mm -hmm. Booth A3, Coys, Comic and Toys. Oh, they got some records. Hey, look at this. Fat Albert in the Gang record. Mm. That's cool. Steve Miller Band. I like the Steve Miller Band. Oh, Prince. That's clean, too. Mm hmm. That's real clean. Can you ask us? That's a VCR tape. A couple of comic books. <laughs> there you go. Look. Partridge family. They really were on tour. Mm-hmm. They got a Star Wars. Oh, that's a model kit. Yes, I'll put Ghostbusters. This is cool for an antique mall. Because sometimes you come to an antique mall and it's a dump. These look like the G.I. Joes you get, them big ones. Nope, no. No. Not bad.
very white. Can't see me. so much in there. A lot of records. Oh, there's something else over here. A lot of glasses. McDonald's head. Look at this uh, phone. Oh, that's too cute. Reboot. You never see reboot figures. Now this is particularly interesting because these phones, like this Ronald phone right here, and you see it's just, it's got the pieces here. Mm -hmm. You see it talk like this. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's, it hasn't been used much. That's got to be the box for it. Yeah. These were... Um, company phones mm. so they, they didn't sell these to the public this is the phone that would be sitting in the manager's office at McDonald's mm. some high guy here yeah no, I mean they, they couldn't sit in the manager's office forever some other ones, these are the pillow, pillow dolls. That one's really clean, actually. Mm -hmm. And look at the fry kid. Usually, the fry girl. Fry guy and there's a hamburger. hamburger. Usually when you find these dolls, they look, they like, look that. like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a newer one, but it's pretty clean. Booth A3. Gotta get it from the angle, like over here. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of Power Rangers stuff. Yeah. These things are notoriously uh, hard to work with, though. These plastic frames, because mm -hmm. look, it's already buckling. Yeah. I but we're I still at the um, uh, Cobb Antique Mall. Yeah. And this is Mike's Toys and Collectibles inside the uh, toy store. Oh, and not inside the toy store, inside, inside of the, the inside the antique mall. It's got Sorry. A lot of Power Rangers Whoa, stuff. yeah. You should have went to, to the range yeah. Con. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ranger stuff. This is tight. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get some footage oh, sure so you can see wow. if you want to come out here. He's got your Macho Man in the ring figure. Hmm? He's got your Macho Man in the ring finger. Oh, figure. yeah, yeah. There's the Andre. Uh huh. Bunch of Marvel Legends. Yeah. It's tight. You gotta get it from the angle, like over here. Yeah.
a lot of vinyl here. A lot of vinyl records. Yeah. This, the prices aren't bad. We've been to a couple of, um, oh, they got comic books. Yeah. We've been to a couple books. of booths. And, uh, There's tons of yeah. uh, vinyl records. You go to Goodwill, you, you can't find these good records. You find the garbage. Yeah, that's because it's all here now. Grab bags. Doobie Brothers. Yeah. I like Doobie Brothers. Eddie Rabbit. You can sit here for a couple hours and go through these records. Find the ones you want. The ones you've been missing. The ones you forgot about. Yeah. Ray Charles. Ambrosia. They're pretty good. Boy, by the time they finish paying everybody, there'll be no money left. Yeah, it's a lot of people. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. is still in the box. That's that's really cool. You don't find them with the packaging anymore. Mm -mm. The old uh, store Pepsi clock. Yeah. That's neat. Car case. It says second chance. This must be their little display. Oh, yeah. This must be associated with them, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. This is mainly sports memorabilia. Anything down that way? Oh. This is really cool in here. Yeah. All the vintage beer signs and stuff. Uh, liquor stores and bars. I actually used to have, I think it was a Miller um, it, sign that was shaped like a guitar. Mm. that would light up like this. Yeah, the minute my dad bought it. Like, summer of 82, I got I got Money Falcon, Snow Speeder, and the Cloud uh, Park. Oh, okay. Looks like it's mostly Star Wars.
Mm-hmm. Oh, it got all different stuff on it. This is cool. Mi Minuto. Yeah. I remember them. Yeah, you remember them, sure. Let me get over there. Well, that's from the Fisher Price um, Husky collection. Mm -hmm. Those chunky figures. Look at the, the Matchbox Airport. That's neat.